hello friends welcome to this video so in this video i will actually show you a visual studio code extension which allows you to edit your csv files with a built-in editor so it looks something like this you will see that we have the sample.csv file right here comma separated value file which is a csv file and we actually define uh, three columns right here name age country and three rows of data this is actually the file right here so the thing is that this plugin this extension creates this option right here on the right hand side edit csv so simply if you click it you will be redirected to this uh, editor where you can actually edit the csv file you can add rows you can see that how easy it is you can add a column as well if you want to add a column and if you are want to save these changes simply click this option apply changes to file and save so this file is this so if you now click this button so your changes will be saved and now if you see the column this fourth column that we added is successfully reflected back into the original file so now you can just see here now it contains four columns so this uh, extension that we are using uh, let me show you this extension you need to go to first of all the extensions tab right in uh, VS code and just search for this extension which is edit CSV so just write this inside the search bar and you will actually see the very first extension which comes right here it is developed by Janice DD and it's a simple extension to edit csv files with a table ui and uh, let me uninstall it and install it from scratch it's a very popular extension it has got almost a million downloads you will see 1.6 million downloads it's a very popular extension and uh, if you work with csv files then it's a must extension to have in VS code so once you just install it simply create a simple sample.csv file you can just define some or you can simply open the editor like this you can click the dustbin icon if you want to start it from scratch so now there is a very single column right here So now you can add a column here by clicking these buttons right here. Then we can add some records right here. So in this way you can just add uh, as many records as you want. So you click on this button apply changes to file. So if you click this button you will see the records will be added. So we have the read options as well if you want to add a delimiter, comment. These are some advanced options that you want to have. Similarly we have the write options as well. So this actually shows you the preview of the file. So the basic functionality is very simple. You create a sample.csv file then you click this button which appears on the right hand side edit csv and then it has a built in table editor where you can edit the files right here individually you can click it as well if you want to insert this row at this location so you can just add the record so now if you want to add the record 
insert this row below then this so at any location you can add the rows right here by right clicking the mouse you can simply if you want to insert the column right you can insert this column this makes it very much easy uh, if you have a very long csv file if you want to edit that csv file so this makes it really easy to edit those long files you can add columns add rows at any locations by clicking with the mouse right here you can individually remove any rows if you want to remove the second row from the csv file simply select this option and now it will remove that second row you can individually click any of the rows Similarly, if you want to delete this column, either you can click this dustbin icon or you can simply say remove column. So that column will be removed. So this is a must extension if you work with CSV files while you develop your projects. So it makes it really easy to actually edit the files. So let me just show you a sample CSV file which is a pretty long file having a lot of records so if you let's suppose if you have a thousand records csv file let me download this file so now you can see we have these thousand records out there so it's a pretty long csv file so now the power of this extension takes place so click on this button and now you will see all these thousand records are showing it in the editor and uh, now if you want to individually remove any row from here if you want to remove this row simply click this remove row so now this row will be removed like this if you want to remove this row now that remove uh, row will be removed from this csv file now at any location let's suppose at this 270 location after this record if you want to add a brand new record you can simply say insert row below and now here you can add your record like this so you can just see the power of this extension so at any location you can just click on right click on the mouse and all these options will appear you can insert row above below insert column left right remove row column alignment as well you can just if you want to make it appear in the right position center all the positions are supported so by default the alignment is left of the text if you want to hide this particular column you can select this option so that column will be hidden you can even uh, control Z if you want to undo revert back so after you make the changes if you want to save this we will simply say that apply changes to file and save so if you click this button the changes will be saved let's suppose if you want to remove this column first name column remove it again click apply changes so now if you see that first name column has been successfully removed you also want to remove the last name column as well that column is also removed so it basically as you remove or add columns it refreshes automatically so it's a real-time CSV editor in VS code so you don't need any third-party software for editing your CSV files you can just do it from the editor itself VS code and uh, I've shown you the full setup process on how to install it and use it and uh, thank you very much for watching this video and uh, please hit that like button subscribe the channel for more videos like this and I will be seeing you in the next video.